this is my outranking.io review. In this review, I'm going to cut right to the chase what everyone wants to know about. Can I write an article on something I have little knowledge about? Well, I'm going to attempt to do that right now. Hopefully, I'll keep it brief. I'm going to try to write an article on a 2021 Ford Bronco. As you can see, I have the Tier 5 AppSumo plan with a ton of credits and uh, keyword searches to go through. So I might as well burn them on this review here. So step one is go to SEO content and new document. I already have it paste, copy and pasted. And I'm going to create a new document. Okay, first thing it's going to take you through is this AI wizard. And you're going to want to generate some titles. As you can see, this is where it starts chipping away at your credits. If you're on that tier one plan and you only have 10,000 credits, this is when you start getting nervous. Okay, 2024 Bronco, everything you need to know about the model. Sure. So we click on that and we hit next. Generate made a description. So let's see what it comes up with. Usually it comes up with some really good description. Ford has a lot of fans. So we're hoping the Bronco's a hit. Okay. Don't need to spend a lot of time on that. And then now it's saying that we need 14 to 41 sections uh, based on the, the SERP analysis. And what this does here, it generates outline ideas. And as you can see, I'm already almost 2,000, well, 1,300 credits in the process here. So first, thing, this is this is an interesting aspect of it. And um, I really kind of like it because it gives you an idea of what the, where this article should be going. So let's start clicking on items that we think are going to be necessary for this article. So what is the 2020 Ford Bronco? What are the key features? Some recent reviews of the 2020. I wonder if I can change it to 2020. Oh, the 2020. That would make sense if they want to know what were the reviews of 2020 and they're looking for a 2021. Uh, what's the difference? Will there be a red version? What is the price? What are some special edition? Um, what is the black diamond interior? Sounds cool. <clears throat> what will it look like? Okay, so I can go on and on as you can see. So what this will do is it'll take everything I selected. I hit create outline. And it turned everything I selected into H2s. So what they suggest you do next when I went through some of these training videos and I agree, you click up here and you go into your concepts builder. Now basically this duplicates this side by side. And what I believe the reason for that is, is so you can go back in here and you can click sections from SERPs and then this will take you through each website in the top 20. So here's car and driver. Uh, another car and driver, Motor Trend, Cena, and look at that's rank seven, I believe. So I believe that's what this is doing here. So I really, really like this because um, you can see what the other articles are writing about and you can throw them into your outline. We're still creating an outline here. These are the only sections we have, but we're still trying to cr create our outline. We haven't done any quote unquote, you know, writing yet. So. The first car and driver I went to, um, some websites disallow a crawl. And so it looks like it, it did on this car and driver, but for some reason there's two car and drivers ranking. And to be honest, I haven't even Googled this term yet. So um, their first H2 is overview. So I guess that'd be a good one to put in. So you just hit this copy button. Um, oh no, it's not copy, sorry. This plus button and it drops it right in here. And let me see if I can drag it and I can drag it up here if I want. I'm not going to mess with the order here yet. Um, I'm going to just basically dump everything in. So what's new for 2020? I already have that in there. Price and which one to buy. Engine transmission performance seems like a good one. Um, so that should drop it in down here, I believe. Yep, there it is. Um, fuel economy, this is a good to know. Uh, interior comfort, yep. Infotainment, yeah, I wanna know about that. I wanna know about safety features. I wanna know about warranty. So, I mean, as you can see, I'm, I'm developing a really robust outline right now, uh, and, and I'm only on the first SERP. So, Motor Trend, what do they have to say? 
So this is uh, nice because it shows their H3s as well. So their H2 is a, a Bronco Expert review. And then here's every, uh, all the other H3s that they're going for. So let's add some H3s to see what happens here. So let's look at technology. Let's add that here. And I believe it jumps, drops it in as an H3. Nope, it drops it in as an H2. So I think what you can do, and I'll show you later, is you can bump this up into any one of these H2s and turn it into an H3. So the other nice thing here is I believe I can press this plus button and it will drop all of this in just like this. So let's try it out. Three, two, one. Let's see what happens. So we have like a Ford Bronco expert review. Where did that go? Okay, went right here. Oh no, it only dropped in. <laughs> it only dropped in the uh, this top one here. I thought it was gonna drop an album with the H3s. So let's just hit this plus here and it still drops it in. So let me drag it if I can. I think I can do that on the next section. So I guess it would be nice if I can do that all within here, but could be wrong. So anyway, um, I can go on and on. And I mean, this is going to be, you know, if you want to rank for this term, I mean, you're going to have to write a huge article. So I'm not going to sit here and write the whole article for you or with you here. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling out some of these details, but I'm going to go through one more. I'm going to go through Forbes and what are they talking about? Points for styling, compact with, with real off-road credentials. Okay, so it looks like I covered most of these. So I think what I do next here is, I, I think I close out of this guy. Okay, yep, and that brings me back to here. Now if I go back to outlines, everything I had on this side will be populated here. Yep, here it is, here's everything. Okay, so the first step one is going to be to write an intro. Now, I know there's a way to write an intro uh, using the AI, but I, I forgot how. Um, so write an intro um, here. So that's not the, that's not the, the special, you know, uh, I guess, capability of this tool. The special capability of this tool is pulling these H2s from something uh, that's ranking right now and writing unique content on it. So let's take a look here. Um, what is a Ford Bronco? So this will be my first H2. So you hit the copy and it drops it right in here. And then what you can do is you can click here to generate concepts. So I click on here. Okay, so this is all, I mean, wow. This is all unique. So the first concept is Ford Bronco is a top choice for a shopper looking for off-road capability. So it's still, wow, well, it's still going. I wonder how many credits I have left after that. I guess we can find out. Okay, so, um, so Ford Bronco is a top choice. So let's hit this umbrella and it should start uh, populating text in my editor. Let's hit this one. Okay, as you see, it's dropping in all of these concepts here and all of these concepts, this is all unique content, I believe. So I think you can expand on it by going into AI Write and then you just hit Write for me and just let it kind of rip. Okay. And here's more uh, more AI commands, so you can improve your content, short and expand, and um, yeah. So let's go back to the instructions, and where are we at? We are at sections, I believe. Uh, this is where I kind of get lost. Okay, sections. Okay, so we have a good overview of what is the Ford 2021 Bronco, but let's whoops, let's go into. What are the new key features? We kind of talked about that. 
Okay, what's different about this year's model compared to previous years? So let's go ahead and drop this in here. So now you can do a summary as well. Uh, this basically is saying, as you can see from the tooltip, it is existing content from the web and do not include this in your content. This is if you just want, it basically copies and pastes the best answer. So if you hit this here, it's gonna drop it into uh, my left side here. I believe. Maybe not. Okay, look at that, it's not working. Uh, what does answer do? Do any of these work? Okay, so if you hit answer, um, is that the new 2019 Forester has built in back in camera? So that's not even relevant. So let's back that out. Let's just hit generate concepts. So look at, I've already burned through, what did I start with, 320? Uh, eight, 7,000. Okay, what's different about this year's model compared to previous year? So if I, Ford brings back Bronco in 2021. Yes, I know. So if I click that, <clears throat> it expands on it. It will be released in the fall of 20. The Bronco comes with a variety of features, including an eight-speed transmission, half-ton pickup, and a 2.0 liter turbocharged engine. And then, okay, so that's good. So let's click on that. Okay, the new Ford Bronco is a mid-1960s model with some modern updates. It's smaller, lighter, has some ground clearance than the, uh, more ground clearance than the original Bronco. So I kind of like this one up here. So let me see if I can just do AI right and hit right for me and see what happens. Ah, here's some money. The biggest change of to this Bronco, to the Bronco this year is a new engine. Ford has done away with the old 3.2 Inline six replaced with the 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder. The new model makes a 210 horsepower and 270 pounds feet of torque. This is a huge increase in previous year models, twin turbo engine diesel. I mean, this is great. So let me hit, I mean, that, that answers this. I haven't gone off. I don't know anything about the Ford Bronco. Um, and I haven't gone off of this page to even look at the SERP or, or whatnot. So let me hit right for me. So obviously you're going to want to double check all this information. So I hit right for me to see if it can give me any more information. So I think it might be duplicating or um, just kind of giving more of the same information. I don't know if there's enough. Yeah, I think I've kind of hit the limit of this very narrow question. So let's do this. Okay, so say I'm satisfied with that. I go back into my sections. And what do we want to talk about now? Will there be a red version of this year's model? Let's find out. So here, here. Let's try that summary again, or answer. Let's try answer. That's a It's difficult to predict what will happen with the release of a red version. Okay, I mean, they're quoting somebody, so maybe we don't know. Let me see what the concepts say. Okay, so it's going into everything but the color. So I wonder if it's just, you know, one of these to be determined. Okay, so let's go into what is the price? So we'll drop that in here like this. Hit this. I've already burned through almost 10,000 credits. See, this is why you need to get the tier five plan. Okay, so I hit the concepts. So what is the price of the Ford Bronco? Let's see what this does, 2021 20, Bronco arriving now. Okay, that doesn't help. 36 month lease from 303. The price of the Ford Bronco is 304. Oh, okay. Le 
let's see if we can expand on this one. Here we go. The Ford Bronco costs 39,000, about 3,000 more than a regular F-150 XL and a bit less than a price of a F-150 Raptor. Okay. So that's good, that answered the question. Oh, this is interesting. The base model have a six speed manual transmission. So let's take a look at if they can expand on that. So, so it's already going into safety features and horsepower. Not exactly what I'm looking for on price, but price is dependent on these features. So I can see where it's, why it's doing that. Okay, so let's go back to sections. Let's do one more. What are some special additions? What will it look like? I think we kind of covered that. Okay, here, how about this? Fuel economy and real world MPG. So it drops it in there. I'm gonna hit summary. Whoops, not summary. Generate topics. Looks like summary is not working today or on this article. Okay, so what's the question here? The fuel economy. It says this has the best fuel economy, so we'll let this kind of write. Right. But now it's talking about, hmm, maybe the next one answers it a little bit better. Twenty city, twenty two highway, <clears throat> at the lowest cost variant. Okay, good. So, what other information do we have here? Upgrade to the V six to get the best fuel economy, but you lose speed on the highway. Okay, so I mean that I believe that answers the question here. Of course, you're going to want to fact check every everything that you see. So. Um, I'm going to run this through a plagiarism checker, but I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get, it's going to get popped for a lot because this is just factual stuff, right? So let me copy, <clears throat> let me go into Grammarly. Uh, sure, done. And then you go into plagiarism. Okay, so 8% plagiarism. I mean, okay, if you're going to count that as plagiarism, what are we doing? So, okay, this is a quote, but they said they're pulling this quote from uh, Libya's parliament. <laughs> How much will it cost? They're saying that's plagiar plagiarism. The base model will have a six speed diet. They're saying that's plagiarism. Yeah, that's, these are common phrases. So, I really just, I haven't written a word. Uh, it's 590 words. And I would say this is no plagiarism besides this quote, but they're actually pulling from the wrong source. Grammarly's pretty uh, pretty strict on their plagiarism. So anyway, that's, um, there, there's a lot, a lot of other features on this. I really haven't explored too much because honestly, this is kind of cool how it just writes, uh, writes for you here. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna have questions. So go ahead and just drop